In this video we will have a quick look at the upcoming IPO of Kuping. Kuping was founded in 2010, and in a short period of time has grown to become the biggest online retailer in South Korea. Over the years, Kuping has expanded into food delivery with its Kuping Eats brand, the delivery of fresh foods to customers with Rocket Fresh, and payment processing with Kuping Pay. Its founder and CEO Bom Sup Kim has a clear mission. To create a world where customers wonder, how did I ever live without Kuping? The company will list its shares of common stock class A on the New York Stock Exchange under ticker CPNG. By offering 100 million shares, while selling stockholders are offering a further 20 million shares of common stock class A. The offering price is expected to be in the range of $27 to $30 per share, which will result in total proceeds of up to $3.6 billion. The company will not receive any proceeds from the shares sold by the selling stockholders. Following the IPO, the company will have a total of approximately 1.7 billion shares outstanding, comprising of 1.5 billion shares of its common stock class A and 174,802,900 shares of its common stock class B. Assuming an offering price of $30 per share, this will value the company at approximately $51 billion. Class A shares are entitled to one vote per share, while Class B shares are entitled to 29 votes per share. Following the completion of the offering, the biggest shareholders will include SoftBank, which through its SoftBank Vision Fund Investments has been an early investor in Kuang. SoftBank will hold 33.1% of the total outstanding shares, and 8.6% of the total voting power. Green Oaks Capital Partners will hold 16.6% of the outstanding shares, and 4.3% of the total voting power. Green Oaks are also early investors in Discord, Flipkart, and Deliveroo among others. CEO and founder Boom Sup Kim is the sole holder of the Class B common stock, and will keep 76.7% .7 of the voting power in the company. Kuping has seen impressive growth. The data provided in their IPO filing shows a revenue growth rate of 91% in fiscal year 2020 compared to 2019, and an annual compound growth rate of approximately 49% since 2016. Active customer base grew to approximately 14.8 million in the quarter ended December 31, 2020 from approximately 11.8 million in the quarter ended December 31, 2019, an increase of 25.9%. Net revenues per active customer increased to approximately $256 for the quarter ended December 31, 2020 or an increase of 59%, compared with approximately $161 for the quarter ended December 31, 2019. This not only shows a healthy growth in customer base, but also that its customers are willing to spend more money to purchase items on the platform. Five-year annual sales growth compared with some of its peers looks solid. We chose to compare the data with peers like JD.com, Mercado Libra, and C Limited, which are companies with a market cap of between $50 billion and $150 billion and operate almost exclusively in specific countries or regions. For fiscal year 2020, Kuping's operating loss was $0.5 billion. Operating margin improved to negative 4.4% compared to negative 10.3% in 2019. Net loss was $0.5 billion. Cash provided by operating activities was positive $0.3 billion in 2020, compared to negative net cash in previous years. Further encouraging trends are free cash flow and EBITDA. Free cash flow was negative $0.2 billion in 2020, and improvement from negative $0.5 billion in 2019.
EBITDA, respectively EBITDA margins are improving with the latest reported EBITDA of negative $0.3 billion or negative 2.1% for fiscal year 2020, compared to negative $0.5 billion or negative 8.8% in 2019. As of December 31, 2020, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $1.2 billion long-term debt of $0.4 billion and total liabilities of $5.7 billion on its balance sheet. Today, Huping is the largest product e-commerce player in South Korea, but there is still plenty of potential for future growth. Korea is home to one of the largest and fastest growing e-commerce opportunities anywhere in the world. Total e-commerce spend was $128 billion in 2019, which is expected to grow to $206 billion by 2024, implying a compound annual growth rate of approximately 10%. On that front, it certainly helps that internet penetration in South Korea stood at approximately 97% of the total population. South Korea also boasts the fastest internet connection worldwide. Cuping has built a completely integrated e-commerce and logistics system that controls every facet of the customer experience from the purchase on the app to the delivery and photo confirmation of the order at the door. 70% of the population lives within 7 miles of a Cuping logistics center. It certainly is a plus that in South Korea almost 90% of the population lives in urban areas with approximately half of the total population living in the Seoul capital city. However, it is also worth noting that its online shopping site does not currently have an English version, which put it at a disadvantage over certain competitors such as Gmarket or 11th Street, which are the go-to online shops for foreigners living in the country, and which also ship worldwide. If Kupang intends to expand their operations into other countries, this would present one of the challenges, which may prove unsuccessful and adversely affect their business, as they also mention in the risk factors of the IPO prospectus. Cuping is a highly anticipated IPO, which could attract a lot of buyers on its trading debut. We would certainly not chase the stock, especially in such a volatile market, as we have seen in the last couple of weeks. From a valuation point of view, Assuming that Cuping's opening price on the first day of trading will be 10% above its maximum IPO pricing of $30 per share, the shares would trade at a still attractive price-to-sales ratio of approximately 4.7 compared to some of its peers. For the time being we will watch the stock from the sidelines and reconsider after the expiration of the lockup period, which is 180 days following the IPO pricing. As always, this video is for entertainment purposes only and no financial advice. Please read the disclaimer in the description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.